Thank you. Uh, I'm Yan Jun. Uh, it's a joint work with Chia and Yan Jing. Uh, our work is about confirmant supplying and the dynamic epistemic, uh, epistemic logic. Uh, this is an overview. Uh, firstly, I will give a brief introduction about uh, the conformance of line over transition systems. Uh, then uh, I will uh, define our logic. Uh, our logic is a dynamic epistemic framework. It's a combine of epistemic logic and the propositional dynamic logic. <coughs> then within this logical framework, we can generalize uh, generalizing the standards uh, Conformance, conformance applying within this uh, logical framework. Work. And in the first part, I will reduce, uh, reduce the uh, generalized conformance applying uh, to a model checking problem in this logic. <coughs> the final part, I will give, give you the complexity of the model checking uh, in this logic framework. Oh, firstly, is the conformance uh, applying. The conformance applying consists of the following parts. Uh, firstly, we have a transition system. It can also be seen as a, a, a critical model or a, a map. And uh, we all, and we have oh, sorry. And we also have an initial belief state. So, so this, so this, <coughs> so this is uh, the. This is an example of the, uh, the transition system. Then th this is the initial belief state. That means the agent now cannot distinguish his in S2 or in S3. Uh, and in conformance planning, we also have a goal state. Or, or normally, the goal, uh, the goal state is a subset of the domain or can be represented by a Boolean formula. <coughs> Uh, in this paper, we call the transi transition system with uh, uncertain uncertainty sets or the initial initial belief states. So we call this uh, a model. So this is an um, example of a model. So there was this, there was this, and uh, there are transitions, uh, and there are the agent that now cannot believe which state he's in. Yeah. So in the conformance applying, it's very important to uh, trace the, uh, how, the, how, how the agent's belief state is updated. So in this example, in this example firstly, the agent is, uh, cannot distinguish S2 and S3. He don't know where he is. But uh, after he is moving up, now uh, his belief state is updated to be S6 and S8. So we can define an uh, updation, uh, uh, operation update on the belief state. If we believe the, in, the, the initial belief state U with the action A, that, that is a set of states that uh, we can reach by doing A from the states in the, in the belief state U. Yeah. So when you, you have, a, you have a, a uncertainty set, you cannot distinguish when you're moving up, then you will take this uncertainty with you. So this is an update on the belief state. And uh, consequently, we have, uh, uh, we, ca we have updates on the model. The, up <coughs> the updated model consists of uh, the transition system is still the same. It's like the map is still, is still the same. The only thing updated is the belief state. So similarly, we can we can also define we update a belief state with a sequence of action, just the update the, the consequence. Yeah. So in <coughs> confirmance applying, we we need to we need to find uh, we need to find a plan an uh, action sequence uh, such that when 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 we when we finally when we finally doing the action sequence, then the updated, the updated belief state will be a, sub, will be a, sub, a subset of the goal state. But there's another thing is very important is uh, <coughs> the plan we found must be uh, strongly executable or applicable in some uh, AI, uh, AI literature. So, 
an action, an action sequence or a plan is strongly ex executable to a belief state. That means for each, for each action i, ai, this action is executable for all the states in the belief state updated by the previous actions, a1 and a2, a, a, i minus 1. So here is the example. So the initial belief state is S1 and S4. And so this is the transition system. <coughs> but in this, in this example, the action sequence AB, first do A, then do B, this action sequence is not strongly executable because when we first doing A, then our belief state will update it to be this fourth days. But on this first days, the the action B cannot cannot be done, uh, cannot be executed in the I three and I six. Yeah. So, so the action the, so the action sequence A B is not executable in the in this example. <coughs> okay. Now we can uh, give the definition of the uh, performance plan is a very standard definition in the literature. So we, we have a model, we have a model, it's a transition system with uh, uh, initial belief states, and we have a set, of go, uh, a subset of the domain is a goal set. And we have a final set of actions, we want to find, uh, uh, we want to find a confirmance plan. A, confirm, a confirmance plan is a finite sequence, uh, a, a, finite, a, a finite action sequence, such that uh, this, this action sequence, this action sequence is strongly executable to the initial belief state. And secondly, uh, when we finally, uh, when we finally doing the action sequence, then the updated belief state will be a subset of the domain, a uh, subset of the goal. So here is an example. Uh, so this is uh, th this is uh, the, the the map, uh, the, the transition system and the be initial belief states. And our goal is to go to achieve some states that are safe. So there are safe states as eight, as nine, and as four. Uh, so the action, says, the action sequence, first, the, first the moving right, then, then moving up is a good plan. So after we're moving right, moving right then we, our belief states is as three and as four then we're moving up, the, then our belief state is S8 and S9, it's a subset of the goal set. Okay, so this is the, so this is the uh, standard definition of conformance plan. Our work is uh, to, give, uh, to give a logical framework, to define a logical framework, then we can talk about the conformance plan in the logical framework. And this is the language of the logic. <laughs> It's a Boolean formula and it has a, a, model, a, a model formula, K phi. It means uh, you didn't know that's phi. And uh, we, have, uh, we, we have a regular expression, pi is a program. It's, it means a, a, a program. So the, the program is a regular expression. So the formula, the, the meaning of the formula is K phi means the, uh, the agent knows that phi. A negation k phi means the agent don't know phi. It's not the case that the agent know phi. That means the agent can imagine a, uh, imagine a, a situation. In that situation, the negation phi is possible. And the box phi, uh, box pi phi means of if phi is successfully executed, then phi uh, then, then 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 phi is achieved. And diamond pi phi means. Uh, after we doing this program, after we doing uh, this program pi, then it's possible we we, we terminate on the state phi is true. So in the in this uh, logical framework is non-deterministic. So the diamond of pi phi means uh, it's possible when we when we after we doing pi that we achieve a state phi is true. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a logic framework. And so for the, for the semantics of this logic, for the Boolean case is uh, uh, trivial. So for the, uh, for the epistemic formula, it's, it's also uh, uh, a standard uh, epistemic way. So the K phi uh, is true on the, 
on the state S. <coughs> that means uh, for each state, we now cannot distinguish the phi is true on the, on the state T. Yeah. <coughs> So the pi phi is the pi phi is true on this pointed on the pointed model. That means uh, after we after we uh, of, after the the program pi is successfully ex executed, then we will terminate on the state phi is true. <coughs> the the program pi here is interpreted as a as a, a binary relation on the pointed models. Uh, this means. When we doing when we doing the program pi on the state uh, on the on the state s, then we may we might uh, terminate on uh, another state s prime and uh, with a new a new updated uh, with a new updated belief state. So this is uh, this we can see it's from this atomic atomic action. So when we doing a uh, when we doing a from the state s. Then we can achieve uh, uh, S prime. If only if if only if there is a transition from S to S prime, and the the model is updated. The model is updated by the action A. Yeah. So we have a test here and a contraction. Yeah. And so the non-deterministic non action is a union of the two programs. And so we also have a star, uh, a star, a plainly star uh, to the program is is a uh, re reflective transition closure to the program pi. Yeah. <clears throat> so with this, in the, within this logical framework, then we can di distinguish different uh, plans. So for this uh, example, we can say uh, the the, pro the the plan moving right. After moving right, the agent if. Uh, or firstly, if S3 is the current state, even though the, the agent don't know he's in, in the uh, S3. So this uh, says, after moving right, the agent is safe, but the agent don't know he's safe. Uh, we, can have, we can have another plan, is moving right, then moving up. After this plan, the agent will know he's safe. He's safe and he know he's safe. Yeah, and also, <coughs> Before doing this, before doing this plan, the, the agent already know after do moving right then up, then he will be achieved states. So in this logical framework, we can talk about the different, uh, different plans, uh, plans in different levels. Okay, uh, but we can do more in this logical framework. We, uh, we can use this logic to generalize the conformance, uh, the, the conformance applying. Firstly, we in the just as we, we said in the standard conformance applying the goal is a Boolean formula, but here we can use it in the any epistemic than uh, EPDL formula. Firstly, the formula can be a negation, uh, can be negating knowledge. For, for this example, if this is the initial state and the goal is, if your goal is only to achieve the p, uh, achieve the states where p is true, then both a and the, both, uh, both A and both B, both A and B are, are good plans. But uh, if your, your goal is achieve the state P is true and uh, the agent don't know uh, that's Q, that's, then only A is uh, a good plan. So we can express uh, the, 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 the negative knowledge goals. And we can also express the goal with, yeah, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the uh, with the regular expression, the clean is dark, then we can achieve, uh, we can say, we want to achieve a, a state, then there is no matter negation P. It's not only negation P, it's uh, no matter how many steps we go T, it's still negation P is true. So with the clean is dark, we can express the more rich goals. And also, we can use the regular expression to express the constraints on the on the plan on the on the plan. So, for example, if if we want the plan uh, have a, another have an extra constraint, that is, if a if the action a if the action a occurs in the plan, then a at most at most occurs once. 
then the then the the then the, plan, uh, then the solution must be a sequence of this regular expression. For this for this regular expression, that means if both the action A and B occur in plan, then the action A must go after B. Yeah. So with this regular expression, we can express the constraints on the on, on the plan. Yeah. <clears throat> So with this uh, uh, thing, we can generalize the standard conformance plan. We can uh, generalize, the, we, 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 can, you, with, we can have a Go formula. Is a, this Go formula is any formula from this logical framework. And so we need a, a solution. We need a solution pi. We, we need a solution uh, sigma is a, uh, uh, it's an action sequence from pi, but the pi is a regular expression. So the regular expression can express some constraint to the form of the plan. Yeah. So we use yeah we use we use this logical framework to generalize generalize the standard conformance applying, and so we do more in this logical logical framework we uh, we reduce. Uh, we reduce we, we reduce the the we reduce the existence of a plan the problem of the existence of a plan to a model taken to this pro, to to this framework, and so what's more, <coughs> we show that this logical framework is a piece based a, com, a piece based com, a complete res, respect to the size of the to the size of the transition system. Uh, <coughs> So the interesting thing is, for the for the standard conformance plan, is already piece based respect to the the, the 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 size of the transition system. Now we use with this logical framework, we generalize the problem, but we still in the same uh, complexity. So, that, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Questions? Uh, so are there any future extensions, for example, modeling the knowledge of other agents? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a very interesting question, yeah. but. Uh, we know for the uh, dynamic epistemic uh, applying, the, the, the one of the most interesting thing is you can uh, you can see the the multi-agent plan. So you can have have the goal that I know that you don't know something something like this. Uh, yeah, but uh, here we only focus on the sing, single agent uh, cases. Yeah, but this is a very interesting part. Okay, let's thank him again. Thank you.